What's up guys, Everything Alpha Pro here. I've been waiting for this day for an entire year. This is the Battle of the Titans. So, without Samsung's help, I managed to get the Samsung Galaxy S8 for my tests. We're gonna be comparing the new beast Samsung Galaxy S8 versus the iPhone 7 Plus in a variety of tests. So in this one, we're gonna start with the drop durability test. So essentially, I wanna see how does the new Gorilla Glass 5 that was found in the Note 7 and now is on the S8 Plus hold up against the dual ion glass on the iPhone 7 Plus. These things have been incredibly resilient. You know, we've dropped them. Last year, uh, the iPhone 6S didn't even break, so I'm assuming this one will do just as well uh, compared to this guy. No trickery, you know, I have nothing to gain. I love both of these companies. You know, fantastic phones, although we obviously know one is better here. Don't let anyone know I said that. So here we go. Samsung Galaxy S8 Plus versus iPhone 7 Plus drop. You know, this thing has so much screen front and back that I don't see this thing lasting very well, even though it has the latest... No! No! I'm sorry. That was a really big disappointment. Let's cut that out. Take two. In my opinion, this thing might not actually do so well because of that. We're gonna start with a waist height, back, side, and front. So um, starting with the iPhone in three, two, one. And with this guy in three, two, one. Nice and clean iPhone, we don't have too much to be afraid of except for the lens cover. And, oh my goodness, are you serious? That was literally like on smooth concrete from not even three feet and it shattered. Wow. <laughs> what? Is that really going to happen to the display? What in the world? This is supposed to be the latest, greatest Gorilla Glass. So it is cracked, but it doesn't start chipping right away like the iPhone, of course, it's more usable. Um, maybe a couple scuffs on here, but I'd rather have some scuffs than a completely broken device. Kind of disappointed. So, let's move on to the side. Come on, this is like the latest stuff. How could it be this bad? You guys saw that, that was like a clean drop. <sighs> okay, anyways, side drop, same waist height. You pull it out of your pocket, you know, you've got greasy fingers from the McDonald's you've been eating. And uh, here we go. In three, two, one. And three, two, one. All right. So display did survive this one. So we've got that impact right here. It's just a little scuff, not too bad, but the back did crack more as a result. So this must be a really, really thin layer of glass for sure. So the front of the display does look good. It's the borders that are starting to get chipped more so than the S7, I must say. They have this gloss finish to them now. So you're gonna notice more when you get those scratches. Um, man, I expected more iPhone. Even with the red paint, it's really not looking bad at all. The scuffs aren't that noticeable. They still blend in pretty well. So um, let's do the front facing one. I'm really afraid for you, Galaxy, and not showing a good sign. Waist height face down in three, two, one. And three, two, one. Oh, thank you. For a minute there, I thought it would jump over and be broken. So I guess it's a little thicker on the front. Maybe it'll be a little bit more resilient. This one is still uh, doing just fine as well. So you know, both are survivors. Let's move it up to the head height. So um, man, it's getting worse and worse spider webbing. Okay, I'm cracked badly, but I guess we will continue here. Just see how long this thing can keep going and in what condition on the same level of the iPhone. Glass looks good, but is it really the most durable? That's for sure. All right, so from head height to rear in three, two, one. Whew, that's a long way down. And three, two, one. Oof, nice smack there. So I'm a little afraid to see what we're going to see, but not too bad. Everything is fine here. A lot of moisture coming out of the phone from the water test. Uh, oh, that's not bad at all. It didn't really get much worse. Maybe a little bit right here, more fractures, but 
holding up pretty well. It's not peeling. In fact, I could barely even feel them. It feels just as smooth. Front is good, still working. So side test. This is my prediction. It's gonna crack on this one. iPhone always really does well because it's got that aluminum border. Okay, here we go. I'm a little nervous. Breaking the brand new phone before it's even released. Uh, in three, two, one. Oh, that was not good. I saw glass shards flying up to me up here. And three, two, one. Oh, wow. That did not break. So we've got the impact point right here, right below the display and the iPhone. Wait, what? I swear I saw chunks of glass flying up to me, but I guess it was water. I'm seeing things. <laughs> wow. I thought that was broken. Still, both uh, survived, both are alive. This one did get worse on that impact for sure. They spider webbed right under the camera. So far, so good. So face down, oh, look at that. So the display is actually coming out of the chassis here. It did bend a little. Otherwise still working, so face down, head height. All right, this is it. This one has exceeded my expectations. So on we go. In three, two, one. Ah, uh, volume in three, two, one. What do you, what do you think, man? I think this is dead. It's done. Nope. He's a galaxy user. Okay. This one survived. Minimal injuries, just some scuffing on the side. Not too bad. Wow. Okay. I'm a little impressed. So at this point, you know, the thing you're gonna be using the front is uh, still surviving. The rear, you can exchange these for really cheap. So down the road, it's really easy to pry this off and replace it with some adhesive. As long as it's done correctly, it shouldn't cost much. So I'm not too worried about that. Still very, very capable. So 10 feet, this is really above and beyond anything you'll be experiencing, that's for sure, in your day-to-day -day life. Uh, plus you'll have a case on, but say you didn't, what would happen? Oh. All right, so rear, 10 feet, and three, two, one. One. And uh, three, two, one. Ooh, that was so perfect. One. All right. Surprisingly, this did not break, so still alive, phone is still working, it's been through hell and back and it's still surviving. Same with this one, still good. Ooh, rear is a mess. Ouch, the laminate is even coming off from the glass. The front is working and that's really all that matters. So to me, they're almost even at this point. This is kind of hard, I'm gonna try and get it even, but there we go in three, two, one. Ooh, that was a perfect hit. One. Ooh, that was a perfect hit. And uh, three. Two, one. Ooh. Oh my goodness. What in tarnation. Digitizer is no longer working. Oh, alrighty then. Really, really bent chassis here. It's not completely straight. Display is tweaking out on me. Um, the whole phone is warped over here. The display is coming out. So I'm kind of surprised it didn't break But man looks like the iPhone is losing another round here so far galaxy is still alive. Whoa Really really cracked now But still working no crazy screen judder. All right face down Man, these things are pretty durable final test screen sticking out, you know, this thing is compromised the durability so I don't see this thing surviving, no way. In uh, three, two, one. One. Ouch, that sounded like it broke. Two, one. One. So, let's see, the iPhone. What? How is this thing still alive? It's tweaking out, you know, the display is screwed. 
the chassis, his bent antenna bands are coming out here, but this thing is still a survivor. <laughs> this one though, oh, whew. there we go. The display has shattered. It took that much to get this to break though. So is this thing pretty durable? Absolutely. You know, it's almost on par with the iPhone and when it does break, it doesn't seem to affect usability that much. You know, you can still see through it, not all that bad, but overall, got to give the win to the iPhone on this one, despite the fact that it's freaking out, it's just the fact that it didn't break from these tests. So I guess let's keep going. The only other test that I can think of is 25 feet. So let's see if we drop it from there. Can we finally break the iPhone glass? All right, tweaking iPhone 7 Plus. Let's see what you got. And uh, three, two, one. Oh man, that sent up a cloud of dust. 25 feet literally coming apart at the seams the antenna band is separating here and yeah so that did it this thing is more resilient but in the end 25 feet is 25 feet to any phone so even though they are both cracked at this point the iphone 7 plus is almost unusable i feel like i'm going to cut my finger here all the shards are coming out it really affects the screen quality and display this one on the other hand looks really really good so not seeing much cracks and even though they're there they're almost completely smooth you can run your finger over them without the fear of getting glass splinters in your skin okay guys so there it is the samsung galaxy s8 versus the iphone 7 plus i gotta give the win to the iphone on this one but they were they were close very very close except for the back on this one but again that's not really that big of a deal all right guys thanks for watching be sure to check out the water test and more on these devices. Peace.